distances coach. My, my son is a committed distance runner, a lot of correlation to intense daily training of a swimmer. What are some of the ways you encourage persistence in your athletes for years on end? Mm. Um, well, I would say one of the advantages we have in swimming over distance running is that they have different strokes, right? So I'm always right. wanting my kids to be a complete swimmer. Uh, so as we kind of go through the training's intense, but we're able to switch up the strokes, switch up the distances that they swim, kind of focus on pieces of the puzzle. And that kind of makes it more palatable as you go through a very long process. Um, I still think it's the same thing. It's just you have to have short term goals along the way that kind of guide what you're going to do today, tomorrow, the next six weeks and not think too much about what's happening in two years from now because we have no control over that basically, right? We have a direction we're headed in. And I think you have to break it down so that basically every practice has a goal and that the athletes know what that is and um, they can sink their teeth into that. And I think if you do that day in, day out, that's how they progress and stay motivated. You timed this very well. And I, this was this was not planned, but, but you know, I've, I've used a quote from, from Michael in one of my classes talking about goal setting, and I just want to share it with you. It, he says, uh, I have goals, and when I want to do something, it's about what I want to do. It's not what someone else wants me to do. And if I come short, then I'm going to readjust my goals and hopefully get there sometime in the future. My coach and I have healthy goals that we want to accomplish, and we go from step to step, and then hopefully we get there. It's my 10th year setting goals and trying to achieve them. I trust the teamwork between Coach Bob and I to get there, and I trust the goals that I make and the judgment I have. 